Express this function here in partial fractions. Hence, find the integrand of this function, where x is bigger than 1. Find the particular solution of the differential equation given here, um, for which y equals 8 and x equals at x equals 2. Give your answer in the form y equals f of x. So I've summarized the question here. Let's have a little look at it then. So the first part is partial fractions. So let's have a go at the partial fractions then. So we simply write 5 over the x minus 1. Uh, 3x plus 2 is equal to the linear factors. So we write a over x minus 1 plus b, because it's a linear factor case, isn't it, over the 3x plus 2. Cross multiply by the denominator both sides gives 5 is equal to a, uh, 3x plus 2 plus b. And then it would be the x minus 1 comes up here, wouldn't it? So now let's input values or equate powers. So let's put input x equals 1. What does that give? 5. Uh, put 1 in here. 3 1s are 3 plus 2 is 5. So that's 5a. And we put 1 in because this would be 0. So that tells us then a is equal to 5 over 5. So a is equal to 1. So that's the first thing to do. So now we'll put in x equals 0. Because we can equate constants, really. That's x equals 0. 5 is equal to. Um, x is 0 here. Just get 2a. And two, a is 1, so that's just 2. Put 0 in here. Minus 1, minus b. So that tells us then that b equals. Move the b over there. 2, and then move the, to minus 5. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. So I'll just squeeze it in here. b equals minus 3 from that simple equation. So there's part A then. So answer is equal to A, which is 1 over x minus 1, plus B, which is minus 3 over the 3x plus 2. So that's part A done then. Now part B. Let's have a look at that. Hence find this integral of the thing that was above. So uh, answer is equal to the integral, and instead of the integrand, we can put this in, can't we? 1 over the x minus 1, because it's the same as minus 3 over 3x plus 2 uh, dx. This equals, this is log, log of something, x minus 1. When you differentiate this in your mind's eye, you get 1 over something multiplied by the something differentiates, something this differentiates to, which is 1, so that's fine. Um, I'll tag the minus. 1 over something is log of 3x plus 2. Log of something. If we differentiate this in our mind's eye to get the constant, it goes to 1 over something multiplied by the something differentiated, which is 3. So that's already there. So there's a 1, one here, really. There's, so that's fine. Plus a constant of integration, isn't it? So there's b done. Now let's move on to part c. Find the particular solution here of this differential equation. So you can see that this, when we move it underneath, will be the same as what we've got above. And we need to move the y underneath on the other side. So here, move the y underneath on the other side. We've got the dy dx is equal to, the 5 was already there, wasn't it? And then the two things came down, didn't they? x minus 1, we brought them down. 3x plus 2, uh, dx, um, no sorry, not dx, we haven't separated the variables just yet. That's what we've got then. So we've moved these two terms down on this side, with the, underneath the 5, and we've moved the y down to be with the dy dx. So, separating the variables and integrating gives the integral 1 over y dy is equal to the integral of this thing here, dx. So that would be, replace that by 1 over, oh, I'm just going to write the integrand, because we've already done that work, haven't we? So it's 5 over x minus 1, 3x plus 2, uh, dx. So what do we get here then? On the left we'll get log y. On the right we'll just get what we've done above, so we can put that in now, because we've done that work, haven't we? Again, 3x plus 2 plus 
Okay. Now we had initial conditions. I'll just remind ourselves of what they were. Y equals 8 when X equals 2. So at uh, Y equals 8, X equals 2. Put it in. Log of 8 is equal to ln. 2 minus 1 is log 1, which we know is 0. Minus ln. Put 2 in here. 3 twos is 6 plus 2 is 8 plus k. So that tells us then that k is equal to, move the log 8 over, it's 2 log 8. And then you can move the 2 up using properties of logs. 8 squared is 64. So k is equal to 64. So we get this then. So ln y is equal to ln x minus 1 minus ln 3x plus 2 plus ln of 64. Now we can write it in the form y equals, can't we? Let's just tidy these logs up, collect them together. So log y is equal to, now the log of the right hand side minus you divide, so it's going to be x minus 1 over 3x plus 2 plus you times, so that would be times 64, won't it? So that's what we've got then, so that implies y is equal to, so this log of this is equal to log of that, so the values are equal. So it's 64, x minus 1, all over 3x plus 2.